Whoa, check this out. Man, cave life was rough. Babe, do you think I could make a fire with a stick? Mm, no, you can't even microwave a burrito. We gotta get a selfie with these guys. Babe, come on, you gotta move over this way. Male and female human, circa 2020 AD. What's that shiny rectangle attached to their hands? Says it's something called a cell pone that people used to look at for over four hours a day. Wow, sounds really boring. Also, what is male? My grandma maybe mentioned it once. I think it's some sort of chromosomal abnormality that separated humans into two camps. <laughs> sure, that went over really well. Wow. I'm done with this. You want to go check out the Opal Planet exhibit instead? Ugh, what's going on with these two? <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but these are humans in the year 7000 XB. Oh, fascinating. Fascinating. I know. Imagine being born back then and having a body. Ugh. So constricting. I bet it would itch. Ugh. Oh, wow. It says here that humans used to make assumptions about each other's brains based on the appearance of their body. <laughs> Sorry the ancient history exhibit is so out of the way. But isn't this interesting? Humans with separated consciousness. But if you're separate beings, how does empathy work? People used to have to blindly imagine how others felt, based on their own experiences. Oh, uh-huh. Very primitive. There used to be this concept called loneliness to describe the isolation people would feel before we acquired fluid consciousness. Really glad we came here. It truly does make you appreciate how far we've come. And this? What is this? Oh, this artifact includes an experiential simulation. It's called Buffalo Wing. Now entering Buffalo Wing Consumption Simulation. Rome has its perks. 